We've created we double the, the Oh god. Double oh desync. <laughs> oh the desync. <laughs> We've synced you know. one last. We've stuck the I've, I've, I've been like sunk. Oh. You've scuttled me. Ah, the D-Series. A vehicle which I care very little about. But I also feel that it is mostly underloved. This thing can do everything. Well, you know, almost everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to make an amphibious one, and the reason why is because I was reminded of Top Gear and when they tried to make themselves their own amphibious vehicles. Not the Toyota one. I'm going to go for the Nissan one, because even though the Toyota one is probably more known, I think the Nissan one is a little bit more recognizable, at least in my opinion. That and also, I think it'd be great to try to drive from here all the way over there across this... Uh, straight? I'm not sure what you would call this. Things that need to be done. We need to put some buoyancy in the front, including extend the front bumper, in the rear, get rid of the rear bumper, put on... Uh, sorry. I have to make the entire rear end of this thing. Then put said electric motor on there, make a custom controller somehow, make these pontoon stuff, put some hydraulics on this and then they can pop out, and make a flying deck. I don't usually like to do 3D modeling, but I sure, we'll give it a try this time around. Where do I start? You know, I don't actually know what these look like. Uh, I think this one will probably work to work as a template. Seven hours later. And I think we're close to what somebody might call finished. We've got ourselves our motor, our bed attachment, got a propeller. Let's try setting it. We have ourselves all of our file stuff and it's completely just a void of no real details or specifications. So we're gonna take from the pickup frame. It'll be a little bit heavy, but this will help us do what we need to do. Start by grabbing all of the weight stuff, go down to the beam area, and we'll start by just grabbing some simple bits. So then we have values for all of our beam and damp. Then we finally have the triangle section. So we'll grab this and now everything has details. Then back into the files itself. This is gonna, this is where I'm starting to run a little bit on fumes. We're gonna make a thing called a rotator, which is basically what wheels used to be before they automated the process of making wheels and tires, which if you don't know what a wheel and tire looks like, well, yeah, it's, there's a lot of information here. I believe we have a thing called a spinner, N no. Oh, it's large spinner. So we had to look under L. For large spinner. Thanks, devs. Great nomenclature. Inside of there, though, we should have the base code for a spinner, which we can rip on. We have motor. We have powertrain. Sound code. We'll deal with that in a bit. And rotators is the big one. And our acceleration and deceleration is perfect. Well, it's set to zero throttle. It still keeps going. And we might actually work upon this controller. So then, much like a normal boat, you can set an amount of throttle. And I think that will work here. So what will happen is you'll set the throttle amount and I'll just sit there. Our torque reactors are going to be BM25. And then I'm going to guess like 18 and 14. Plop that in there and that should grab upon that. Main gain, that's fine. React in the, okay. This is where things get a little bit <sighs> complicated. Our shaft is BM 25 and 11. 25 and 11. The next thing is we're gonna need to attach it to some body parts. The one that attaches is the middle of a shaft that I made which will be BM7. And the ones that will attach to are like T1L, T1, and T1R. Now, it should be under bed accessory. Are you in here? I don't see it in here. Oh, wait, no, boat motor. Okay, well, uh, no. Wait, hold on. 
Do we have- Oh, I see something. And I see that the game is bugged out as well. It doesn't like having a motor here, I'm assuming. Hmm. So, the controller itself is not happy. This is where I'm starting to, like, get outside of my skill bounds. What we'll do is we'll take some of the information from a normal motor and we'll put it in as well. So we don't need main engine, but this we'll grab. It seems like at the moment it's having a bit of an issue. Oh, that's very unhappy. By sheer coincidence. Well, I've got it kind of working now. What I need is to be able to get the motor to go through here and then have this shaft drive this. But whatever I do, it just won't drive it. It's so frustrating. It says it gets to shaft, called shaft, but it won't actually get to the rotator itself. Oh, wait. Did I do the rotator? I might have done the rotator wrong. I've, yeah, I've changed the name of this. I'm an idiot. Uh, motor block, that's good. Motor block, that's good. It then goes in here. There is a slight chance that this will work. Come on, why must you be like this? Ah. I figured it out. It's been many hours of me banging my head against a brick wall, but we've got it working. Ah, it's working. So I do have to gear this down a lot because at the moment that's rotating quite a bit. Uh, what I was doing wrong, I gave this the, oh my God, I've done a lot, but this was the thing that was not playing ball. And now we have this I, I wonder, hold on, let me try out. What happens if I try to put an engine in now? So let's just go like an inline six, something nice and simple. Yeah, we can't, dr oh wait, no, I've got no drive shafts in. I took those out as well. And now we have drive. The, the back end is going absolutely ballistic at the moment. That is an unhappy, Oh yeah, I've got steering working. I don't know if I said that, but I got steering working on this whilst trying to like figure it out. Uh, I've, I've still got to set things up a lot, but this is fantastic. I didn't know I could have uh, multiple gearboxes run. I think I've done something to get both gearboxes to work in a way which they didn't used to work previously. So we're gonna land in the water in a bit. Oh, come on, just... It's so slow. Maybe I should have given it a much bigger engine, but you know what? We're doing fine. I haven't set it up so then uh, it'll disengage one of them. I haven't made it so I can tilt the engine down into the water. But uh, this is a huge advantage. I'm probably gonna have to like call it a day after this one because this has taken so long to get to. And then tomorrow I might finish it off. We'll see how I feel. I might just tinker away with it before tomorrow. But uh, w my aim is to get to the other side. So let's see how that goes. So into the water and, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I have no reverse gear. I think I only have forwards. So let's put the brake on and accelerate. Does that propel us forward? Uh, you know what? I don't have much information here. Yeah, there's no drag coefficient or anything. So let's put like 50 in there and then let's let the engine flood, but not the rest of the vehicle. Any moment now. Engine's locked up. Great. Handbrake on. Drive. Is that actually pushing us forward? I, I can't actually tell if that's working the way we intended. The next day. <sighs> this one has been a real pain. I knew that pressure bodies, which is a uh, pressure groups, has always been a little bit of a tricky thing in BMNG. It doesn't really work very well. It has caused me no end of pain currently. For instance, it's just bugged. It is just compl it completely doesn't work. So we've got this pause at the moment. What I've done is I'd add a little bit of pressure here and then to the body to make sure it's working, we've given it just 10 PSI, which let me be clear, that's less than air pressure. Like this is how just not correct the air pressure stuff, uh, the pressure group stuff is in triangles is in beam and G. So we unpause and then it goes, oh, okay, well that's enough to make us float, which is weird. And then 
It decides to body slam the car. Nothing changed, it just wanted to do that. So let's go back in and drop it to one PSI, which is usually what you'll see floating bodies at. And with a little refresh, we see that it is no longer doing anything. The problem is, is that only one PSI, which you'd think would float more, whatever, it, uh, it just doesn't float at all. Just nothing. Look at that. Just, it's sinking as if there was nothing like happening. Like, I don't get it. Why is it not working? For God's sake. Now, if you're looking at this going, oh, well, your windshield. N no, the there is actually a pressure body underneath the windshield. So that's not the issue. This thing is actually properly, fully pressurized. You open up the door, you can see everything is sealed. I probably should weld the doors to make them not open anyway, but that's the sort of thing that we're dealing with. We got completely pressurized. This is completely pressurized. There's also an extra pressure vessel which uh, actually I don't have to put on at the moment. But yeah, I have another pressure vessel that doesn't work. Like this has been probably 12, 13 hours of me trying to make this thing goddamn float. I'm at the point now where I'm just going to cheat. And what we're going to do is basically make these fake little invisible triangle boxes, export them to BeamNG, grab all the value from nodes. I'm gonna grab this detail, then grab this, and we're going to make it a selectable part. Here's hoping to God that this works. Come on, daddy needs a new pair of shoes. I forgot to attach it. Come on, hold together. <laughs> yes, good, okay. Now, will these float when we get into the water? He is hoping that they do. Well, I mean, they kind of push us up a little bit, but that's only gonna help us if we're moving forwards, otherwise, Oh no, no, they're kind of working. But hey, look at that. Now we're running into the other issue that is BeamNG flotation devicey thingies. They want to rotate. Like, hold on, let me hold this still for a second. If we just bring that to, oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Yep. There we go, okay. So we've got it held still. I don't know why it's vibrating, but anyway. Let it go and right back into rotation. Now you may think that I've just made it wrong. No, don't be smug. If you have a look at normal triangles, they're usually green. Yellow if they're not meant to collide with anything, but blue means that it's pressurized. So this boat actually floats. All you have to do is tear it off nice and softly. And then let's slowly drop it down. You know what? It doesn't actually matter which way it goes. So hold on. No, stop moving. No, stop rotating. No, stop. 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 Okay, there we go. We've got it. It stopped rotating, right? Now the water looks like it's moving, but it's not actually. So if we let go of those, it starts rotating. Now you may be like, okay, well, it's up the wrong way. Let me show you the other way around. Yep, still rotates. And you'll notice that it rotates now. Up next is to create those side tank. Bar barrels, that's the one. Luckily for us, if we go into world editor, there's already stuff here. So if we go open an explorer, perfect. Our barrel is here. Bring it into Blender and make the collision mesh stuff for it. And is this one going to work for us? Oh, actually, you know what? That's already doing pretty well. I mean, I still have to make it connect properly, but these should float. Well, beams are not very strong, but you get the idea. Good, they are floating. All right, I'm gonna go off now and do another five hours of editing. Okay, really, you're gonna start, you're swinging this time. What is even happening? Well, I've done a lot of work. It's basically 10 hours later and I have, pretty much everything working. These arms are not great, I might fiddle with those at some point, but we have our tanks, they retract. I got the body to become buoyant, so everything now floats properly. So let's just quickly drive over to where some water is. And would you look at that, away we go. Okay, well it was floating earlier. Now it seems to want to float considerably less, that is. Super frustrating, but look at that. 
if we move at the very least, it does uh, help us stay a little bit buoyant. I swear to God, this was floating earlier. Why is it not floating anymore? Oh, no, engine hydro lock. That's unfortunate. This is how we'll fix our not floating issue. We'll grab these, drag that back a little bit. Then these should move back. And then the volume itself will be what creates our downforce. And this time around, we do be floating a little better. Now our rear end is not floating very well. Oh, that's unfortunate. But hey, at least we're still driving just not very well. I also don't know why we're not creating as much propulsion as what we once were. That's a bit of a disappointment. Are my arms extended as much as they can? Yeah. Well, apparently that's where the motor wants to sit. But hey, look at that. We have our working vehicle. Now we're just gonna make the rear motor be able to move uh, up. So then it can like legit drive on the road. Currently to hold it in place, I just had these, but we've commented those out. Don't see those no more. And much like the side tank stuff, we're gonna grab and basically duplicate everything to put in new keys. And with that, we're basically done. So we can unpack our stuff here, put our motor back down, have it hit the ground, but we won't do that right away. So uh, if we just reset the car, you can see that it is by default down. I might rearrange this a little bit, but uh, why can't I? Oh, that's because I'm pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. Yeah, I I'm gonna rework these arms they don't quite look right and they don't work very well but we'll get to that at another point in time for now though <laughs> totes get to take this thing for a drive might make the propeller on the boat just a little bit stronger too because at the moment there it's a bit weak pushing us through the water but look at that now if we come to a stop you notice that the engine doesn't flood on at least the main uh, vehicle's motor. Uh, to tilt the motor up as well, there's only uh, basically a single pivot node and then there's nodes connected here to the frame. So then when we press that, it tilts it on that way. Fancy, right? And then, oh dear, we've, we've broken it. Oh, hold on. How do I... Nope. Uh, uh, I've... It's broken. Anyway, I think I want to show this to some friends. What? Come on. This is a group event held for BeamNG devs and content creators like Neological and Komodo every week. And this week we're on Spieler's new map. And I thought I'd interject. Oh, Neil's Neil. Oh, no. oh, wait, Where we're actually he? doing it? In... <laughs> oh, dear. He's all, the way, he's all the way over there by himself. <laughs> He's like a Sweet. Shark. All right, I'm turning. <laughs> Why is he so, so under the so water? Funny. This is so silly. Wait, what if you just drove behind him? What, if you drove what behind is this? Him? <laughs> there is no reverse. Oh, great. I'm okay. just kidding. Although, if you, <laughs> if you stop, stop and just, like, blip the throttle, you can go around a bit faster in a circle. So we're not allowed to go on the land, or are we? Oh, uh, it's just. I, yeah, I think we are, because I'm doing oh, no. it. And no, 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 no. I think going, it looks like we're meant to be only water. It's just the slowest. Thing. <laughs> it's just. Oh, and you, he missed. Oh, oh, he this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the land. I don't like this. My radiator is overheating. I really like this vehicle though. This is sick. Oh, yeah. 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 oh shit! Yeah, it is overheating, isn't it? Did you not I wonder if I reset. It's got the best radiator. Oh, the best radiator. There's just a bit of a weirdness uh, with this that I haven't quite nutted out yet. Filament, is oh, this going on no, to the no, repository? No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. Once the video is out, it'll be submitted. Oh. Uh, if you don't know, I make oh, videos wow. about making mods. Wait, you do? Oh. Yes, that's what he does. <laughs> and they're really, really, really good. I didn't know that. Run away! Oh, oh god, there is a <laughs> lot of them. Yes. Oh my god, I didn't realize there was people on the other side of me. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! Komodo got me. Oh god. Oh, desync. Oh, the desync. 
We've still My arrow is on. I've, uh, I've been so sunk. Like You've scuttled me. We have just legitimately dug oh the under the water. Well, that was honestly one of my favorite rounds. Yeah. What did that you guys do to yeah. Philman? Why was he underwater? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. The buoyancy doesn't work very well in Beam and G. Well. This has been the Nissan Amphibious Boat. Well, not actually a Nissan, because I didn't want to have to make a Nissan as well. And it will be able to cross the channel of West Coast USA. I mean, it's going to take a while. Maybe I'll get my editor to do some speed up of footage. Uh, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe. And if anybody here is really good at texturing or modeling or that sort of stuff, feel free to go over this motor. I am not good at uh, texturing so you do that and you can upload the mod as your own or a dependency it's up to you i don't particularly care i just like to have new things out there new fun things i just like to create uh, details take a lot more time than what i can give for a video for now though i would like to thank my channel members for the rest of you wait no hold on oh forgot my top tier channel member oh yeah that would be the rogue tick the crayon priest who is a top tier channel member uh if you want early access to this it is up on the uh, my, my patreon though it is uh, by the time the video is submitted will be up, uh submitted to the repository so it'll be there eventually it's just you get early access from the uh patreon for now though i'd like to catch you all next time goodbye that is the most scuffed outro I've ever done. <laughs>